I just wanted to share um, uh, printing our logo here on to some t-shirts that uh, we had ordered so I just wanted to share a little bit of that process so let me flip the camera so uh, I've got my design here I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut this in half and uh, I'll be right I just let the uh, heat press heat up to 310 degrees and uh, I'm gonna lay the shirt out and make sure I have it evened up. So give me one second. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my first shirt out here. And I take it by right here. It kinda, it kinda helps me. I'm gonna use the tag as my center point. And I've got a center point right here in my, in my uh, press here that I use get it about the same and uh, I'm gonna give it just a little let's get that out of there give it just a little kind of flatten it back out and about four fingers is what you want the design there so I'm gonna put our heat transfer design here make sure I got about four fingers which I do Try and keep it in line with the tag there. And I left my straight straight edge here. I'm using that with the edge of the uh, edge of the uh, heat press here. Make sure I'm square. Everything looks good. I'm gonna press this for 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna release. It. Uh, release it and I gotta let it cool. So we're gonna do another one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab it right here. Line it up. Put the bottom of the collar right at the back of the press. Use my tag to center it up. Give it a little uh, heat press there. Get all the wrinkles out. It didn't get all the wrinkles out. Maybe that did. Take my design again. Even it up here. I got four fingers. Try and get it centered there. Before I press it, make sure everything is in line. Press this for 10 seconds. Okay, let this one cool. Turn right there, got it centered up. Bottom of the collar, the back of the heat press. Give it just a little. So I'm just doing three right now for this order, particular order. And I just wanted to put this on video. I I wasn't for sure somebody out there might want to see how I'm doing this because let me see there. It's back. Ten seconds. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, heat press up to 330 degrees. And what we're going to do is we're going to, after I peel it, I'm going to, after I peel the design, I'm going to put this, the shirt back in here. 
after it gets up to 330 degrees I'm gonna put this Teflon sheet over the shirt and the print and I'm gonna cure it at 330 degrees for 10 seconds and it should be done so I'm gonna make sure it's cool actually I'm gonna start with this one over here And then I'm going to take it here at the top and it's one continuous pull because if you stop it'll leave a line in your artwork there so I want to do a one continuous a cold pill is what they call that so that one's done I'm do this one Just gonna take it. I'm holding the shirt at the top. Whoop. The edge right there is. I'm gonna heat this one up a little more. Try to peel this from the bottom. Okay, so I just peeled this, but since it wasn't coming off right here at the edge, I started from the bottom. It did okay, but this all will cure in when I put it back under the heat press. As you'll see, I'll show you in just a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we go. So now, give me one second and uh, we're going to go back to the heat press. Okay, so it's at 330 degrees. I'll tap my sheet in for 10 seconds. Now we won't wash this shirt um, for 24 hours. But that is curing it right there. So that baby is cured and ready to wear after it cools down, of course. Forgot to mention is you do not want that touching itself when it's hot like that. When you just pull it out. So you gotta be very careful when you pull this out. So we're going to cure this one for 10 seconds. Okay. Same thing. Just pull it out like that. bottom with two hands you slide it out also wanted to share that I have uh, a few shirts that are going to be going out in the mail here shortly um, I've got one for Don the Fat Bee Man I've got one for 628 Dirt Rooster and then I've got one, this gray one for uh, John John Rogers at Rogers Pure Honey. I'd also like to know how these hold up for you guys. Uh, if you're watching this, when you get these, how do they hold up for you? 
if you would uh, like to know where we got these designs if you're interested uh, leave your questions down in the uh, comments below and uh, we'll get back to you on that um, if you like the video don't forget to like make sure you share and subscribe thanks for watching honeybee highway